Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new, subscribe, click the like button, comment down below what you want to see next, and please subscribe. Okay guys, I'm still working on my main channel, and now that I've not been back on here for like a while at least. Um, the last video I did was um, reviewing some Benton's uh, soap bread cookies, whatever. <sighs> well, before you guys judge me on this or click off the video for today we're trying some frosty's blue cream soda before you click off or judge me no i've not tried this it's been opened but oreo i made some blue cream soda syrup yes what you need is one cup of sugar one cup of your soda and if you want to, you can use light corn syrup. That is optional. If you go to my main channel, um, I showed you how you make it, and I put a link in the description box in the video to Fun Foods' channel to that one video, and he did not use light corn syrup either. Trust me. Um, we'll be trying that out as well. So there you guys know. Anyways. Today we're going to be trying some Frosty's Blue Cream Soda. This has no high fructose corn syrup. This only is made with cane sugar, as you can see on the bottle. This is only 110 calories, and it's not that bad. Um, you guys can read the things yourself again. I'm not going to do that. So, you guys can pause the video at any time to read that. But today, we're going to open it up. And, I guess it's that food fair, by the way. And, might I add, this is expired. This is from November of 2021. So, um, when I made the syrup, the syrup oil, it didn't have much of a fizz to it. So, I'm pretty sure the combination is already gone out of it. So it's going to be just like a juice, I would assume. Yeah, it's flat. But it's like a juice, kind of. It still has that taste to it. The taste is not gone. It's still in here, and it's pretty good. I like this. This is really good. It would probably be a lot better if it was uh, carbonated, but I'm going to cut back on soda though. I'm going to drink more of a juice type anyways. Um, this is pretty much all white. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I'm going to give this about a 5. This is really good. It, but it would probably get a 7 or 8.9 for me if it was carbonated, so that's pretty good. If it was, <coughs> um, it's smooth going down too. Like that's a really good soda. Was it's a juice now basically, but that's really good though. You really get that blueberry flavor to it, but like even though it may have gone flat, this is really good, and I will be buying that again. Now food fell down there. They had two more of these type flavors. They had like a uh, orange cream sickle. And they had a classic root beer one, so if you guys love any of those flavors, you guys can get them. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I just woke up, guys. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning, so. My hair is. I try to comb my hair the best I could. I'm trying to keep it back now instead of having it down, so. But, um, let's go ahead and try out this blue cream syrup. See how it tastes. Which this is going to be very sweet since, oh my, it doesn't look that much like, like a syrup, but guys, trust me, it is, I'm not, when you make it homemade, it's not going to look exactly like syrup, but that's because I didn't add in light cone syrup, so that could have changed it, so, I don't know. Mmm. Well, gosh, oh, 
Man, I hit you first thing in the morning. Wow. Holy gosh. Whew. That actually brought tears to my eyes. That's how sweet it is. Oh my gosh. It's like I just opened a bag of sugar, took a giant spoonful, and shoved it in my mouth. That's exactly what this is. Oh. Nah. Ooh. I even said on my main channel when I made this, do not drink by itself. It will give you an upset stomach, or it can do something else to you. And if you're diabetic, then yeah, you definitely don't want to um, put a lot of this on whatever you're eating. Oh my gosh. I mean, like I said on my main channel, whatever sort of you use, this can go good on saved ice, ice cream, Pancakes, yes pancakes, and it counts as a breakfast. This the syrup can be changed a little bit. And you can also put this on snack cakes, brownies, I hope brownies. Um so it can go good on any on anything you want. There is no combination in that, but this is a sweet, sweet, sweet drink syrup that you put on your snacks or whatever. I would give that, on a scale of 1 out of, out of 10, it's going to get a, well, for being really too sweet, and it's a syrup, I'm going to give it a, a uh, maybe a 6.1, but the flavor of the blueberry is not in here. It's a very weak taste. You can slightly taste the aftertaste of it, but it's literally just like eating sugar but with Mountain Dew and I did Mountain Dew I can actually taste the Mountain Dew and the sweetness of it itself so if you're gonna make a syrup I would do Mountain Dew but the, again this is my second time making soda syrup and I do want to use light cone syrup next time maybe not use this but I'll probably be using something a lot more differently but we gotta get that taste out of our mouth guys it's too sweet and I see that bust my teeth after a while too so ooh I thought this gets you though I'm kinda used to it back when I was in high school guys about 10th grade and stuff and 9th grade what I would do is I'd take a can of soda with me in each school and when I had music class, we would sit in the cafeteria just working on some music and stuff. And right behind me, I'd always sit close enough to the kitchen. And right behind me, there was like a thing with a cup of water and stuff. The deposit cups and everything. This is back in 2017 as well. Keep, keep, keep that in mind. Um, I'll get it behind me, grab a little bit of water, and pour some soda in with it and stow it because I didn't like my soda. Again, I was trying to think a little bit more healthier, I guess. Um, yeah, we can it down a lot. But my main favorite soda is Sprite, Sierra Mist, Coke, and Pepsi. So I went outside the comfort zone with this. But again, if you guys have not tried it, I recommend you guys go and try it. This is pretty good soda. And again, there's two more flavors, root beer, an orange cream circle if you guys wanted to go try it. I think Dollar Tree, where everything's a dollar, it was, they went up to a dollar twenty five now for everything. The price going up on everything. Gas has been gas is incredibly high nowadays. Um they they had something just like this except it was like a lemonade version mixed in with this, so I don't know how that would taste. But I'm pretty sure it'd be good. Um but with all that being said, if you guys want to go check out that main channel on how I made Mountain Dew Soup, go check it out. And again, with all that being said, make sure and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. You might get a follow back from me. And again, check out my, my main channel. It's Chris Stason and Kindly Chris. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, and also, before you end the video, guys. I'm not back uploading daily on here yet. 
Um, I'm still getting my main channel, um, trying to get everything done on that. So you will see me on here, just not, just not every day. You must see me back on here by next week, if anything, if everything goes well, and if not, then you guys know. Um, I did upgrade my iPhone for a while away. These old uh, iPhones that has a 30 pin charger cable. I had to upgrade because 3G networks are going out and my phone is already out of 3G support. So I had to upgrade to a 4G phone. Um, this is the iPhone 5 by the way. Got off marketplace. I've been to the review on it. Uh, the power button does not work. Then the lady did not give me a charger to the phone itself. So. Um, if you guys would like to see that review, make so and be subscribed and turn on the notifications to my second channel, Conley Chris. That's what I do most of my stuff on, so if you guys want to check it out, you guys can. Um, but with all that being said, yeah, it's a big, it's, it, it's a big difference because the iPhone phone for us have like a glass back to it. The iPhone 5 is like an aluminum kind of glass. So, I don't know. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you guys have ever have tried this one or any of the other ones. And let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys would have me, if you guys want me to try something that you guys have not tried yet and you want me to review it for you, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it for you. Um, but with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Put God first. Stay safe. Have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee now.